Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I'm going to be taking you around my home to share with you how I've incorporated a lot of my recent thrift store finds into my home decor. I love videos like this. I hope you do as well. So let's go ahead and start in the kitchen. I have the shelf hanging on the wall which I like to add a lot of my vintage pieces to and I added a few new pieces like this cottage cheese container which I think is so cool and I've been on the lookout for quite a while for one and also this Quaker Oats container. I found this fabulous red thermos, the first in my collection, so I added that into the mix as well. And I just love the pop of red color that it gives to this shelf. Over on the opposite side of the shelf, I have a small crock that I have filled up with um, various rolling pins that I have found. And this rolling pin here on the top is a new one. I absolutely love the handles on it. I think that is so cool. And then moving over to the cubbies that I have on the opposite side of the kitchen, I have a few new items there as well. The first thing I added was this vintage Maybelline makeup box. A lot of you told me that it used to hold eyeliner, which I think is super cool. And then I also added this baby bottle, which is a first in my bottle collection, but I love that it still had the metal cap on it, and I just thought it was really neat. And then moving on to these two shelves, I have a few new items as well. First of which is this stack of bowls. These are adorable. They are Buffalo China. I picked up six of them at the thrift store and I love them so much. You guys know how much I love my restaurant wear. So I put three of them here and then added a little creamer, a restaurant creamer to the top of that. And then to the shelf next to that, I found a Prince Albert tobacco tin um, at the flea market and I added that into the mix as well. I see these kind of tins all the time in various shapes and sizes, but this is the first one that I picked up and I love the pop of red. Moving to the next shelf over, I have this item right here that was sent to me by one of my viewers. When you open it up, it is filled with needles. This was one of those promotional things that stores would give out as little trinkets to its customers and I just love the graphics on it. I think it is so cool. So I have it tucked in here. Another item that I have tucked into the cubbies is this one right here. I picked it up at a flea market. If you watch my flea market haul, you would have seen this, and I absolutely love it. Um, it's a little milk glass egg cup. It's got a little chicken on it. It says good morning, and it's got little music notes. So I added that, and then as you can see here off to the side, I added three more of those Buffalo China oval bowls, and I love how they fit perfectly on the cubby shelves. So then we're going to move on over to the kitchen table, and I have this tin or aluminum I guess it is. Rice cooker is what people told me it was. I had no idea what it was but I have used it as a little flower pot to hold some flowers from the farmers market which I went to last weekend and I just think it is absolutely beautiful. I recently found this percolator from the 1914s which I absolutely fell in love with so I added it between my kitchen sink and the refrigerator and I set it right next to my chrome canister set and my radio and I think it looks absolutely perfect right here. Not quite sure how long it will actually stay here but I'm loving it for the moment. And right next door on my kitchen windowsill I added this amazingly cute strawberry mug. I originally was going to put flowers in it but since I had flowers in my enamel picture behind it I decided not to so now it's kind of just a catch-all for things. And off to the side of that I added these new really pretty glass salt and pepper shakers. I love that they're kind of like on a little pedestal and I just thought they were super cool. So I added those into the mix as well. And all together I think it makes a nice simple window display. Another recent fabulous find was this vintage waffle maker which I absolutely fell in love with. It's got cute little tulip design on the top and it actually works. We've used it a few times. And next to it I have this crock filled with some flatware in my favorite pattern with a starburst on it. I think they are so cool. I'm using just the knives in this particular um, area because it is sitting right next to my husband's coffee maker so he gets to use them as little stir sticks for mixing in his creamer each morning. Moving into the living room and the hutch area, I have a few new things here as well. First off being this gorgeous glass cake plate. Another item that I absolutely fell in love with. I love the nice little scalloped edge and the pressed glass design on it. I thought I could use it right away to corral a few little small things on top, starting with this red and white mug and I filled it with these gold and wood handled spoons which are super tiny and I love them so much. I've actually had them for quite a few years and just keep forgetting to use them so I wanted to add those into the mix. And then I also added these adorable little glass and silver 
um, salt and pepper shakers. I think these are so cute. I'm really into minis lately. And then I stack those on top of a little stack of butter pat dishes. And then in the back, I use this beautiful pewter creamer, which I recently found. I absolutely love the shape of it. I think it is so cool, but what makes it amazing is that it's got this a beautiful monogram on the front of it. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. So I have that tucked in the back. On another shelf, I've kept everything pretty much no, the same as it was, but I added this gorgeous doily that was sent to me by one of my subscribers. I absolutely love it. It's so delicate and beautiful, and I think it adds the perfect touch to the shelf. Along with this shelf here, I added another one that she sent me, and they're just the perfect, delicate little item to add, to add just a little extra something special to each display. Then moving down to this shelf, on the right side I've added all new items, starting with this gorgeous milk glass pitcher, which I found at the thrift store. I could not hardly believe that it was still there waiting for me. And then I also added this item right here for a pop of wood tone. It is absolutely gorgeous. When it first was sent to me by one of my subscribers, I didn't know what it was, but then we got to chatting and she told me that it was for darning socks, which I think is super cool. It's got a great patina on it, so I wanted to add it into the mix to add just a little bit of pop of the wood tone that I've also got going on in different areas of the hutch, and I thought this was a perfect thing to add. And finally, to add a little softness into the mix, I added this napkin, which was sent to me also by a subscriber. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got some nice little delicate details along the edge, which I absolutely love. And I like the way it kind of flows over the edge of the shelf. And finally on the hutch are these two enamelware um, storage boxes, which I found at a flea market. I love them sitting here, but I cannot wait to get them into my kitchen. We're gonna use the large one to hold bread and the smaller one I'll use as a refrigerator dish to hold various vegetables and things like that. So I'm very excited about that and I think it'll be so much fun to use those in their normal intended ways. And then off to the side over here, underneath my enamelware pitcher, is a set of um, dishes which I recently found. These are restaurant wear. They are by Syracuse China. Here you can see the stamp and I absolutely love them. If you look really closely at them, they've got a little bit of a design, kind of like a flower design kind of, or a little scallop in a circle. If you look real close, you can see that there, which I think is very unique and a fun little feature to the plate. And I think I have four of them that I picked up, so I'm using those to add a little height to my teapot here, and they works out perfectly. Moving on into the dining room, I've added two new plates to my plate rack. I found two of these gorgeous blue and white plates. I absolutely love this design. It's so delicate and pretty, and I just I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The maker is Church Hill. So I've gone ahead and stacked one on this side of the shelf, and then on the opposite side of the shelf, I added the other one. I've added a little sparkle to the plate rack as well in the form of these cute little jars, which I found that have a starburst pattern on them. Inside, I've placed some battery-operated candles so at night they come on automatically and add a little flickering candlelight to cozy up the dining room a little bit. And then finally we'll move into the master bedroom and this display which I have laid out. In the front I have my vintage mirrors and then behind it I tucked in a new um, footed tray. On top of that I added this gorgeous little hat that I found at a um, antique store. I thought it was so adorable with the little blue and white flowers and it's my first little vintage hat which I have found so I was trying to figure out a way in which to display it because I don't really have like any hat racks or anything like that and I realized that it's the perfect shape and size to just kind of slip around the front of a candle. So for now I'm just playing it that way and of course I'll remove it before I light the candle. This pedestal tray um, that I used as its base is actually new as well. You can see it still has its stick around, which is pretty terrible of me, but that's real life. <laughs> this is by Chromex, and you guys know how much I love Chromex. I love the wonderful detail in the pedestal itself, and it's a nice size for 
a candle on top of it with still a lot of space to put like a wreath or something like that on it as well. And finally moving over to the tray to the right of it, I've added this amazing little coin purse. It was sent to me by one of my viewers and I absolutely fell in love with it. This thing is very old and very heavy and oh, I just love the beadwork on it and the white and the blue. I think it is so pretty. So I'd like to have it sitting here on this tray so I can enjoy it every day until I find a better way to display it. But for now, I'm just loving it just sitting here. It looks really nice below this other display that I have above it with the little picture and another vintage purse that I have. If you enjoyed today's video, I would love to know about it down in the comments. And if you'd like to see more decorating with thrifted finds, check out the video I'm linking at the end of this video. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.